Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I'm here with another horror movie review, The Pops Exorcist. Before anything, I have to say, this movie was not scary at all, at least for me. Because the demon was lying on the bed entire the whole movie and he didn't do anything frightening or scary. But in final 30 minutes, he had some acts. As said in movie, the demon was Osmodius, the prince of hell, one of the powerful demons. And it's such a shame for Osmodius to not do anything frightening and just lying on the bed. That's really silly. Osmodius definitely feels sorry if you see this movie. But I have to confess, the idea of creating such a movie is really fascinating. Although it would be really better if it was about uh, one of Gabriel Amor's real cases. Anyway, the movie is directed by Julius Avery and it's rated R for bloody scenes, violence and uh, demon possession. Let's go through the story. The main character Gabriel Amorth is inspired by Father Amorth who used to be the Vatican's chief exorcist. Gabriel Amorth is an Italian pop who travels to Spain to save a young boy who is possessed by a strong demon. But the demon targets is not the child. He wants Father Gabriel Amorth. Bring me the priest. Now Father Amorth and Father Esquibel trying to save the boy. But as the demon is Osmodius and he's so powerful, they have a really hard exorcism. Finally, they succeed in saving the boy, but actually it was kind of deal with demon. The demon leaves the child body and possesses the father Amorth. Now, Father Esquibel must save the Father Amorth all alone. Father Gabriel Amorth is a funny person and he always tells jokes in his exorcisms. You know any jokes? Uh, no. Should learn some. The devil does not like jokes. Uh, but demons hate jokes, unlike they prefer speaking sarcastically. Did he allow that? As the movie was completely independent and it has a general story, uh, but at final scene we see that there are 199 uh, places that they need exorcisms. It's a way if they want to create the next episodes of uh, this movie. If I want to be frank with you guys, it's a silly movie which you may find it entertaining. Why I'm saying this, just see this part. Your son is under the influence of a very powerful demon. In this part of the movie, the mother realizes for the first time that her son is possessed by a demon. And it's all her reaction. And it's not just my idea. According to an interview with Vatican's approved exorcist, uh, he has speculated that if Father Gabriel Amorth was alive, he was disgusted by use of his name and character treatment in this movie. But the movie has an interesting fact, which Russell Crowe, who plays the role of Father Amorth, accompanied the pop in 150 exorcisms in order to have a better act in this movie. The IMDb rate for this movie is 6.1, Rotten Tomato is 51, and Metacritic is 45. And I'm not gonna rate this movie more than 4 out of 10. This year, many horror movies have come and they are going to come. But unfortunately, none of them have satisfied me till now. Tell me what you think. What's your idea about this movie? Did you like it? Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please tap the subscribe button, then send it to your friends. If there is any mistake, any question, or any suggestion, please let me know. Love you all. See you soon.